Hi Aries, how are you doing? Welcome into my channel. Welcome to a new week of readings for you. Your next seven days ahead messages. I am Sage Sunset Aries and I'm an intuitive card reader. So I'm here to present messages for you. What's going on in your life in general for the week ahead. Okay, so let's get started. Aries, I see some of you are in contemplation mode. Maybe not Maybe deciding what direction to move in, how to move forward, how to start over. That energy behind starting new, wanting to move forward, feeling secure and safe, wanting to have force to move forward with. So I feel like you're really developing that inside of yourself first. Emotionally, yes, wanting to be emotionally grounded and stable, maybe having to start over, some of you. Also wanting to be integrate into um having integrity right in yourself your beliefs your morals your identity your wish what it is that you dream of being in this life i feel like just putting yourself together some of you could be really skilled some of you could be partnering with others to make money starting a new business people could be coming by to see the work that you're doing this new business that you're setting up here with the ten of wands card that's prosperity springing forth life coming to new rebirth energy some of you i feel aries are backed by this great amount of love and abundance of love like that charming energy of just being support having confidence faith trust it could be support from and here's the 10 again, the 10 of wands, new beginnings. It could be support from an elder that's backing you, Aries. Some of you are already entrepreneurs, have creating a lot, having a lot to give, creative ideas, prosperity, success, things moving and flourishing, prospering for you. And you're being guided to really come into your financial stability here. Coming into financial stability for you, Aries. So let's continue. Three of three of swords. Now the three of swords energy typically represents a broken heart, not necessarily in a relationship where it's romance, romantic based, um, but maybe family relations or work. Okay, Aries. So. There's an energy where you feel a bit of a broken heart. Maybe that's where you're in contemplation mode. Re-evaluating, reassessing, how to pick up and carry on. I feel like tap into your sense of self-worth. Pay attention to what you're good at. Get your hands in the clay. Work. Start being creative. You know what I mean? Tapping into your passionate energy. And that will sort of be a positive distraction for you going forward. I feel like this broken heart situation, this letdown, is causing you to really establish sense of value and worth in yourself. We have more swords energy here, feeling trapped, feeling blinded, feeling like there's no way out, feeling confined in a position, in an area that's possibly just not serving you because there's not a lot of flourish. I feel like there's energy of transmutation here, Aries. Because imagine there's a land that's barren and then in comparison to that there's a land that is fruitful flourishing just abundance right so this is the fruitful abundance energy that you're backing up here being so creative full of ideas maybe here you're not you don't have a lot of ideas and that's why you're re-evaluating your life this card feels like flying too like a bird flying for some reason free being set free as if just flying, being light. And that's where transmutation of energy comes through. Light, being light, energy. So maybe you're not moving forward as yet, some of you, because you do feel this trapped energy. But I want you to focus on what it is that you have to give to this life. And that will sort of free you up to create more, to produce more, and therefore free you. Free you. Wow, oh my God. Ten of Pentacles, energy. New beginning. So this is another ten energy. Out with the old. Or just coming in with the brand new. New ideas, new success, new prosperity. 
new businesses. So really standing in your entrepreneurial energy here, being vibrant and bright. So that's what can come for you if you're not already in this position. When you start to focus on your, your gifts, your, your crafts, what are you good at? Again, look at this, transmutation energy Aries, turning your burdens into light. This is my turn your burden to light card. For those of you who don't know, right? This is taking up that bad situation and letting it go. So whether it's going to be you telling your story, writing a book, creating, just creating from past experiences that weren't good for you, that held you down. You're in contemplation mode of how to pick up yourself and move forward, how to balance, rebalance your emotions again. I feel like it's going to come when you clear out certain energies. And maybe that's energy is vexation, vexation of spirit. Moving out, moving on, moving forward, releasing. And I was saying that earlier too, releasing. These are both eight cards, eight of wands, which is prosperity, success, fertility, creativity. And then we have the eight of swords here, which is feeling trapped, not, move, not moving, barrenness, stagnancy. So those are two cards in opposite. And in that respect, we can transmute the energy. We can turn, let go of the burdens and turn them into light. So you, I feel like you do have the power to do this once you're able to see. Um, start doing things that you're passionate about, things that get you feeling in touch with yourself. Again, we have another Swords card. This is another Ten of Swords. So we have three Tens. We have the Ten of Wands, Ten of Pentacles. Now we have the Ten of Swords energy here. This is a brand new beginning for some of you because we get, we get the Eight of Swords where you're feeling trapped. And then the Ten is like a brand new beginning. The dawn is breaking. The day is coming into a new a, a new idea, a new realization that you're not dead, you're alive. You can pick up the pieces and move forward. Aries, I love this energy for you. Just start meddling in your craft, I feel. That will get you going. Maybe some of you are engineers, mechanics. Moving forward, so you have been hurt. See the sword's energy? That's, you have been going through a bit of strife. And my heart goes out to you, you know, for some of you that is. But I do believe you're going to be able to release it and turn it into light in the future. Oh my God! In the future. And this is what is ahead of you. Release. Look at this. From being trapped. This is energy transmutation at its best here. From being trapped to being free to being born again. Born again. New release. New energy bursting forth. My, just realizing the day is, the dawn is breaking, the sun is coming up for you. And I feel like once you just rise up, you'll see that you'll feel the energy inside of your body. And you'll just feel brand new to move forward, to leave behind of you all of the swords energy. Just leave them where they are and you take your beautiful best self forward. The sun energy is the card of prosperity, material success joy abundance clarity feeling childlike feeling without burdens here like you don't have burdens turning your burdens into light energy clearing out moving forward yes so coming into a place aries where you feel like you have a lot to be thankful for before you were emotionally picky and choosy not sure about what emotions are good for you just in that stage of being vexed but no, you're appreciative. I feel you're being more grateful or you're coming into this place where you're looking around you and you're seeing that you do have a lot to be thankful for. Inside, emotion, emotional fulfillment. And I feel like you get that when you turn your burdens to light, you know? Because when you change up that energy and you stand up for yourself and then you get to tap into your sense of value and self-worth, you're like, whoa, I do have a lot to give. I am valuable. I do, I do find fun being here, Aries. Awesome energy for you. Moving forward, some of you could be moving out, moving out of your home. Some of you could be starting a new business, moving forward in it. Deciding to really align this with yourself. This is your card, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is the fire energy of the wands. New beginnings for you and moving forward here. Just keep it moving. Confidence, grace, be grounded in your truth. 
and also use the sword's energy of the past, which is energy of hurt and strife, to really propel you forward, being your foundation, your guidance system forward. That's how I feel. So it's like you're going to be more solid, having more integrity forward because you've learned certain lessons. You get what I'm saying, Aries? You've learned certain lessons and so you're not the same anymore. Look at you, moving forward, gracefully, beautifully, abundantly, having to share, having enough to give, sharing of yourself and receiving. Being a leader, maybe you have multiple businesses, going, just moving on the flow of your heart space, your heart energy. Oh my gosh, intuition. I feel some of you might kind of be afraid or in doubt uh, that maybe someone that is observing you might not might not be appreciative of you or might not find value in you or might not see the true essence of who you are this could be your boss this could be someone that you love this could be the place that you're moving toward that you're not maybe you're not so sure about but i feel you're you're you're, you're keeping it moving right aries very intuitive also an intuitive energy that's holding you. It feels like a mother. Because we know our mothers know more than, like, our mothers know things that we don't even know that they know. So there's that energy of someone being able to see you, see inside of you, right? That vulnerable aspect of you. This person is firm, too. This person do not play with you. It does feel like a mother energy. That they're watching so make sure you're in a mess up make make sure you're doing what's right going off some of you are moving testing the new for truth starting over having faith trusting in your groundedness a new lease on life for you i feel this is backed by a, a deeper knowing present within you aries okay let's see what your next card is we have the empress card the energy of abundance, joy, success, prosperity, material success, intuition, grace, being adaptive, adaptive to your environment, using the tools and gifts that you have to make or see your way through. And then at the bottom of the deck, we have the temperance card, which is balance, strength, endurance, willpower, grace beauty pleasure even sensuality a higher sense of self bringing in a certain balance to you right a higher awareness even angelic guidance because we see the angel here angelic guidance that's going to offer you support offer you love right offer you a higher perspective on what's going on in your life aries all right aries this has been your reading interesting right Thank you so much for being here and I do hope that you found messages here that resonate with you and are able to help you along your journey. If you did, please give my video a thumbs up, much love and respect for that and also consider subscribing to my channel for future uploads. Aries, remember that you can be, do have everything and anything in this world that you desire because you are all and all is within you. Much love. Take care.